Okay friends, to get started on our distributor, first we're going to find it. If you were to look back along the rear of your engine, along the firewall, you're going to be able to find your spark plug wires and your distributor cap. There's a couple little clips on this. I'm just going to use a pocket screwdriver, come underneath here, lift this tab, and separate it. Now I'm going to come over to this, lift this tab, separate that as well. At this point, we can go ahead and pull this away, and we have better access to our distributor cap. Before we go ahead and remove any of the wires, let's go ahead and mark them first. I'm just gonna wipe this down real quick so we can have a peek. If you look along the cap, you can see some numbers on it. That's gonna correspond to the cylinder that the wire is gonna lead to. Now I'm just gonna wipe down the wires and I'll mark the wires with the same number that's on the cap where it corresponds to. Once you have everything marked, go ahead and disconnect the wires and set them aside. Perfect. Now we have a mess all around our distributor cap, so we're going to go ahead and clean this out of here. Okay, now the next thing we need to do is use a Torx bit, a T20. We're going to come right down into this area where you can see the slots on the actual cap itself, and there's going to be two bolts. I'm going to remove the forward one and then the rear. Once those are both loose, let's continue on by removing our cap. Now let's get under the truck and put the engine on top dead center. Underneath the front of the truck, we're going to have to remove this shield right here. You're going to find there's six mounting bolts that look like this. Set this aside. Now that we have the shield off, we have a clear view of our harmonic balancer that's supposed to be mounted to the crank of our engine. Something that we want to pay attention to is this little marking right along here. You can see that it's carved right into that harmonic balancer. Something else that I want to pay attention to is that there's supposed to be two of those markings. So what I want to do is find one, and then I'm going to feel along and see if I can find a second one. And it should come somewhere along the area not too far after that one. So this one, I'm feeling along this side, and I can tell that I don't feel any more markings. I'm going to come up along the other end of this. Just after it, I can find that there's another marking. So essentially, we have two markings, one right after the other. All right, so we know that this one right here that I can physically see is the second marking. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a crayon and I'm gonna mark this area right. Let's see if I can get. Looking at the engine, you can see the area where I marked with my crayon. That's gonna be the area that we need to have that other marking lined up with. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is use a nice long ratchet like this with a 16 millimeter socket and extension and I'm gonna come to this crank bolt right there. We're gonna continue on by turning this clockwise until that marking lines up with our yellow mark right here. Okay, I can feel compression on the engine here. Okay, I'm bringing that right around. I can see that I have my marking lined up. So I'm just gonna bring this first marking down so the two crayon marks line up. And then the second marking, the one that trails it, is gonna be located up on top. There's another marking you can check up there just to ensure that it's lined up perfectly. Now we just want to come back up top and ensure that we're lined up with where we need to be. Something that I want to take note of is this contact point right along here. If you were on top dead center on this particular truck, it would line up with this area right along here. You can tell on our distributor we have a little arrow or a triangle that has a number six on it. What we want to do is make sure that this is going to be lined up with that when we're done. So let's get back under the truck. We're going to turn that crank back around again and we're going to hopefully end up with this lined up. Now the next thing we need to do is remove our electrical connector here. Go ahead and lift up on this tab and then draw it away from your distributor. It's always a good idea to make sure you check your electrical connectors and just ensure that you don't see any corrosion. This looks great, so I'll set it aside. Now let's move over to the passenger side of the distributor. If you look down along the base of it, you're going to see a mounting bolt. We need to remove that bolt and then draw our distributor up and out. There's our mounting bolt. Now that we have the bolt out, the next thing we want to do is make sure that we have a crayon handy or something that we can mark the distributor with. What we want to pay attention to is this area right along here. We can see that it's lined up with our six mark on here, but once you start lifting up the distributor straight up, you're going to notice that this is going to spin, and I'll show you why once it's out. Once we start lifting it up and we notice that it stops spinning, we're just going to quickly mark the casing on the distributor where this line is. So I'm just going to go ahead and mark that real quick. 
And now let's lift it straight up and out. There it is, friends. Now the reason why the cap right here spun counterclockwise from its starting point back to here is because if you were to look down at the bottom area, you have this grooved area. Essentially while we go ahead and put this in, it's gonna go ahead and spin this in the opposite direction and then it should essentially line back up with where it comes from. Now that we have the old distributor out of there, let's continue with our new distributor. First thing I wanna do is remove our cap. There we are, let's set this aside. Okay, so now we need to line up our new distributor with the way that our original one was. We have this area here, and of course we have our marking where it needs to aim up to. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this till it lines up with the same exact area, which is basically along this ridge right here. You can mark it if you feel as though you need to. That looks perfect. Let's get ready for our install. Okay, something that I wanted to show you real quick on the bottom of our distributor is this area right inside the center there. You can see that it almost looks like a flat blade in there. If you were to take a peek down inside the hole in the engine where this is supposed to go, you're gonna find an area where that flat blade should sit into. That's part of the oil pump for this. So if you notice when you're putting down your distributor, it doesn't seem like it wants to slide down. That's due to an alignment issue with this right here. Something else you wanna pay attention to is the gasket. Make sure that the gasket's on there. And of course, if you can keep it up high while you're doing it, it's gonna ensure that it doesn't get damaged in the installation process. Let's line this up with where it needs to be, right along here, and get ready for our install. Okay. So it looks like our rotor moved a little bit here, so I'm just gonna line it back up to start. Start sliding this down. Okay, so it just fell down into its spot, and now that it's sitting into its spot, I can see that my area here is lined up on the distributor housing where it needs to be. But if for some reason yours isn't, you need to just go ahead and lift up your distributor and then move it so it's gonna. Essentially, if you drop this down and it looked like it was a little bit too far this way, you would just lift it up and then bring this head a little bit clockwise and then vice versa if it was the other way. Now it's gonna be time to get our bolt in there. Make sure that the threads are nice and clean. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the bolt in there. We'll start it in and then we'll snug it up. All right, so it feels like it bottomed out right there. I'm just gonna give it a teeny bit more. We definitely don't want to break the bolts off, but we also want to make sure that the distributor is nice and tight to the engine. Now let's connect in our wiring. Give it a nice click and a nice wiggle. Make sure it doesn't fall out. Now it's going to be time to put on the cap. Obviously we want the side with the four prongs coming over towards the passenger side. And we're going to have the side with the three towards the drivers. I'm just going to carefully set this down and in here. We want to line up those tabs so that the screws will line up. All right, now let's put in our new screws. I'm just gonna start this in, and then we'll start the other one in, and then we'll tighten them up. Now at this point, I'm just gonna go ahead and bottom this out. Okay, stop right there, just a teeny bit more. Do the same to the other. Okay. okay. Perfect. Okay, now it's gonna be time to get our wires back on here. When we do this, we wanna just make sure that we put them back on to where we originally took them off of the distributor. So I've got my coil wire. Make sure that when you push them on, they go all the way on and not sitting halfway off. Obviously, when you put these on also, you want to make sure that the wires aren't crossing and tying a knot or anything like that. Perfect. Now let's get our wiring re-secured. I'm gonna connect in our wiper motor. Give it a nice wiggle. Okay, now that we have that all installed, we need to of course start up the truck and ensure that we don't have a misfire and we also need to make sure that of course the truck starts overall. So once I start up the truck, I'm gonna come running back out here and I wanna watch the engine, see if it's shaking around a lot or just even a little bit. Here we go. Perfect. Okay, so our truck runs perfect, but maybe for some reason after your install, it didn't. If that's the case, it's a possibility that maybe you didn't have something lined up properly. Or maybe when you did have it lined up, when you went ahead and put it into the engine, this spun a little bit, 
and then you didn't recheck it to make sure it's lined up with where it needs to be at the end. If that's the case, you're gonna wanna remove the cap that comes on top of this. You're gonna go back underneath the truck, put the engine on top dead center with those lines that I showed you before. And when you are, you wanna have this facing right where your number six is right there. If you notice that for some reason you're off just a little bit like this, then you're probably just off one tooth. And of course, let's put our shield back up.